What's going on guys, I am with the Moose and today I'm bringing you another Mutt15 wishlist video. This one's going to be about the player rating or ranking system, whatever you want to call it. Basically what overall should players be in Madden 15 Ultimate Team, that's what I'm going to be breaking down in this video. Um, I have a little bit of a system that I want to go through here that I think would work out pretty well. Let me know in the comments if you agree with me, but first off we're going to take a look at some bronze players and just see what they are in Madden 25. Um, honestly these aren't too bad. Um, in terms of rank, but 74 overall, really? I mean, why is there a 74 overall bronze card? A 64, that's fair. A 73, I don't understand these. 71, 73, these should be at least silver cards right here. i um, not really sure why they're bronze cards at all. Um, anything above a... A 70, in my opinion, should be a silver, at least. Um, now, the system I have is basically bronze would be 60 to 69 um, overall. Or, or I, I guess you could put lower. I'm pretty sure there's nobody in uh, Madden 25 that is lower than a 60 overall. Um, and then silvers would be 70 overall to 79 overall. So, um, as you're going to see here, I believe there that's pretty how it, pretty much how it is in here. There, there is a few 80s, but those are all the top 100 rookies. So, honestly, the uh, silver system in Madden 25 isn't too bad at all. Now, my real problem comes in with the golds. The golds are very widespread. Now, if you look here, um, we didn't actually get lucky on this little search here, but there is actually a 68 overall gold card in this game. How on earth is that a 68 overall? I have no idea. It is um, Jarrell Freeman, I believe. But even these 71 overall, really? I mean, these are gold cards? I mean, I don't know how these are golds. They really don't deserve to be golds whatsoever. So I think gold cards need to be at least an 80 overall, up to an 89 overall. I think that is a solid range for the gold card. Um, and if you're going to get one one gold card in each pack, I think it should at least have a chance to be, you know, an upper 80s overall card. Then that could actually be used, you know, for a pretty good while, um, you know, while Ultimate Team is just starting up for the next season now. Um, everything else, elites and legendaries and stuff like that, um, I think should be at least 90 overall. Now, the rookie legends, if they do something similar to this, you know, you're going to have a, a little bit of an issue here. But overall, I would say, you know, it could work out still in the end. You know, the, these are 85, 80 overall. You know, that's not too bad, I guess, if they do the rookie legends. But if they're not doing rookie legends, I want to see at least a 90 to a 99 overall card for every, every single legendary card and every single elite card. I believe uh, in Madden 25, they had a bunch of elite cards that are actually under 90 overall which is pretty annoying to me let's just check it out here uh you know 86 overall for ryan tana here 87 over muhammad wilkerson 88 calvin johnson stuff like that i mean these really shouldn't you know be this low i think they should at least be a 90 overall right here like uh drc here but that's just me um and then finally there are some random tiers that they throw in throughout the year like ghost um you know bca stuff like that um there's also the playoff tier. I think all of those should, you know, at least be an 85. Um, and I think for the most part, you know, all the playoffs are above 90, I believe. Uh, the BCA cards vary, I believe. But, you know, obviously there's not going to be too many on the auction block here. There's, you know, 84 is the lowest that's on the auction block. So I actually don't think that's that bad. But 85 would be nice to see and above. And then the ghost cards, obviously they had the fun edition. So it's going to skew it a little bit here. But I would say, you know, the 70 overall. See, like these are these are like the the funny cards, Ben Roethlisberger punting and stuff like that. But um, you know, 95 overall, that's not too bad. Honestly, they did a pretty good job with everything. My big problem is with the elites that are below uh, at least a 90 overall, and then the gold cards that are below an 80 I, and even below 70 at some point. I don't even understand that. Maybe a compromise could be a a gold card it has to be 75 or over overall or above I don't know uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments I thought it was a pretty interesting uh, you know little topic to break down for you guys thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later